This is the Ricochet Robots program. And when we start up the program, it looks like this. We have uh, displaying the instructions at the top, and then it displays uh, the game. And so I'll scroll down so we can see the full screen where the, the game is. So we can type in R for random robot, D for the default, S to select a specific starting robot and destination. In this case, we're just gonna choose D for the default, which is move the robot two to square. M. So uh, when we start out, let's say we start out with, um, let's say with robot one, and we move robot one down. So what we're going to try and do is we want to get this square number two over here to M. In order to do that, we need to get it to this spot and then have it move across here to the right. To do that, we have to put a different robot over here. And so backing around and thinking about this uh, looks like if we can get maybe robot four come over here and up to there, then we can get robot two and have robot two move around and come over here and be in position. So let's try that. So let's have robot four move down and we'll see robot four up here is gonna slide down like that. So here we go. Uh, let me get this scrolled off the screen again. Here we go. All right. So four move down and then we'll have four goes, um, Four goes left, and then four goes down, four goes left, and four. And if we put the wrong thing in, four goes up. If I put the wrong letter in like that, it gives me an error message and allows me to retry. Um, that's just off the screen right now for that part of it. Um, so I can retry, and I will now have four goes left. Oh, we already did that. So if there's a wall there, it doesn't go any further, but four goes up and, and there we are, four goes up, okay. So now we have to move two into place. So let's say two goes um, left, two goes up, two goes right, two goes down, two goes left, two goes down, two goes left, two goes up, and we'll see that the move number is increasing as we go here. And now we're in position finally, two goes to the right and we're done. So if we were to run this again a second time, we can see that there are other choices of things that we can do. Um, and let me clear the screen and then start over in this program. Here we go. So if we were to choose R for a random robot goal, so here's the, the random selection. Um, and in this case, you can see that it chose a different letter here and um, and it's again robot two, so we could exit the program. If we were to choose random again, we might have a different set of choices. So now here we're supposed to move robot three to square A. So here's robot three to square A. So again, I'll exit the program. And let's say that we were to do, um, instead of D for default and R for random, which we just saw, we do S to select. So if I was to select, then it gives me all the possible destinations, all the robots, and then I could choose, let's say I want robot four to go to K, for instance. And then, so it always blanks out all the ones besides the destination. Um, and of course it leaves the four robots there. So that's it, enjoy the program.